Alrighty. Um, disregard the big old scratch right there. It's a bump I messed with. But um, I was just laying here watching videos on Facebook and just just thinking. And I wanted to get on here and talk about like the things that people expect for you to think that you know but you don't really know like okay for example like you want to know where your life is going and what you're going to do with your life and how you're going to make it productive and everything and how everything is going to be so perfect but in reality it's not that easy you know um my concern right now is having something that can help my son, you know, um, making an income that could, you know, help in the household. And I've dissected a lot of things and, you know, looked at a lot of things that I could do to bring an income and I still can't come up with something that fits me, you know, I thought of housekeeping, um, carrier service, uh, what else? Customer service where you talk on the phone, but I just can't do that. I am homeschooling. And I say, I say it that way because it is going, I ain't going to say it's going great, but it's going. And it's a, it's a big step, you know, it's, it's not something that's easy. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. So I'm still learning and growing with that as well as trying to figure out what can I do to generate a revenue, you know? We we have an oil business, small oil business, it's fragrance oils and whatnot, but it just, I am not a salesperson. And I say that in the least of I don't know how to speak to people in a sense of selling a product. It was a attempt for me, but it just didn't work. Not the way it needed to, because it's something that you have to be professional and you have to know how to deal with people and explain a product. And I wasn't good with that. I, I, I sold a product, but I didn't sell it the way it needed to be sold for it to be profitable. And... I messed up that and it just now I'm at a dead end you know I'm at an end where I feel like I don't feel like a failure for say but I'm a it's along the lines of a failure because you want to make a life for your family you don't want to be a burden you know you don't want to be the one that you know takes takes but never gives you know what i'm saying and that's what i feel like it is right now i'm I'm taking and taking and taking yes i take care of my son <laughs> as best i can with my mental illnesses um but i feel like i can do more but depression it keeps me from it keeps me from being who I need to be for my family, you know? Um, I don't know why I'm getting tearful. I don't know why I want to break down over that. But it's like people do not believe that depression can keep you or anxiety can keep you from being a normal person. And it, you can, you know, it, it can take from you. I didn't get on here to cry, but it just mentally... <sighs> Mentally, I can think that I can do something and then physically, I don't do it. Over the past 12 years of, well, it's almost 13 years, but um, past 12 years that I've been with Al, I've gained so much weight. I've gained 100 pounds since being with him. I'm at 255. I'm not ashamed to say how much I weigh because obviously you see that I am a plus size person. I'm a big, big girl. Um, 
took me a long time to accept myself, you know, it took me a long time to accept that, you know, I'm not a size zero or whatever you want to say. I wore um, size 12 when I was in freaking ninth grade, I think it was. I first started school when I was a freshman. So I, I've always been on the bigger side. Even back then, I, I wasn't big though. I mean, not to me, I was. I don't know. People saw me as big. I was called big. I was called fat. You know, by family members. <laughs> Who would think? That's that's your biggest critics, your family members. You know, you think, oh, I can confide in them, but you can't even confide in family. You really can't. You gotta, you gotta love yourself. You know, you gotta accept yourself for who you are. Accept your mistakes. You're gonna keep on making them, and you're gonna keep on doing things that might, as long as you're not hurting anyone and you're not hurting yourself, continue to grow with your mistakes. You know, continue to, to make mistakes and learn from it, and then keep going. Don't just give up and say, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore because my mistakes, my mistakes are just. They're creating the character that you are, you know. It took me a long time to realize that. But I come to realize also that you don't you don't let those mistakes make you as a person. Don't let them you let them build you, but don't let them break you, you know? Don't don't break from it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm mentally breaking. I just got out of college, which is, wasn't a big college. It wasn't like that. It was just like a um, a two-year college. So I finished that. I graduated. Um, before that, I, I went to get my GED because I dropped out of school, you know, for stupid reasons. It wasn't pregnancy. Obviously, I have one son. I'm old. Well, I'm not that old, but. I have one son, uh, one child. Um, so I quit school chasing after men, chasing after a man. And that led me to, led me to where I am now, which isn't bad, you know. I love where I'm at, you know. I have my ups and downs with it, but I, it's never hindered me to the point where I need professional help that I have to be put somewhere because my health is so bad. My mental state of mind is so bad. And I guess that's what messes me up also with getting the help that I need because it doesn't lead me to drink. It doesn't lead me to do drugs, you know, and that's what they say. That is bull crap. I must put that out there. That is bullcrap when they tell you that your mental state of mind, because you're not drinking and doing drugs, that your mental state of mind is not that bad. That's bullcrap. Because you could be preventing a person from becoming that person just to get them the help they need before they even get there. You know, seriously, do I have to drink and do drugs for them to see that something's wrong? That's my problem. That is what I'm trying to point out, that they they will say that nothing is wrong with you mentally because you're not drinking and doing drugs before they sit there and say, hey, well, maybe, maybe you need this kind of help. But they don't do that. They want you to do it and then get the help for it. Why? Then it's too late. Some people overdose, get an accident drink, drinking and driving. Would you rather that happen than to help them during the process? Because, I mean, it just really doesn't make sense for you to sit there and not help them when they ask for it. Until they're bad off. You know, I went to a mental health place to get therapy. And I felt like I was in a weird place. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like I did not belong there. But I did. Because something mentally is wrong with me. It's not that bad. Because I'm not doing what they're doing. But it is bad. But... Sometimes you just need to, to get out your issues and get out what's wrong with you. And I guess that's what I'm doing now. Because 
I came on here to talk about something different. <laughs> I haven't talked about mental health. Um, I'm not going to hold y'all up. But until next time, y'all take care of yourselves. And get the help you need. And if they don't want to help you when you say you need help, find someone else that will. Don't do what I did and don't don't listen to what they say. Get another opinion. Get another answer. Help yourself because... It is not a life to live when you cannot live for your children and you cannot live for yourself, your spouse, anybody. When you sit day to day and you can't figure yourself out, that's a problem. Don't do. If you're young or even older, help yourself because ain't nobody out here to help you. You know, get the help you need. Be strong and get get this life together for yourself. Alrighty.